Okay, so <clears throat> the course uh, for this uh, April 22nd KOM, uh, you know, skill and riding dynamics is very important. So we're just going to give you uh, a little bit of a rundown. So if you can see, it's going to be a downhill in front of us. That's it. So we're going to show you some basic skills in downhilling. First, try not to hold here if... Uh, the downhill is too uh, too long okay if the downhill is very long the more that you hold here when you keep breaking you're gonna have cramps on your forearm so the technique in in downhilling especially in long downhills is try to avoid holding the brakes here because you're gonna have a lot of cramps so the technique is you have to go down on your drops okay your center of gravity will get lower and as your center of gravity gets lower the bike becomes more stable and more controllable instead of holding here the bike's center of gravity will be too too high and then you're gonna feel like you're gonna be overshooting the downhills okay so hold on the drops bend your elbow use your pointer finger to break with one finger while the rest of the fingers, the three fingers, will be used to control the handlebar. So make sure, don't straighten your elbow like this or else you can't break. Bend your elbows like this. Okay? Now, on the climbing, on seated climbing, try to stay upright. Slide back on your saddle. The reason why you want to slide back on your saddle is to be able to use your hamstrings. Not too far forward or else you're gonna put too much weight on the handlebar that's gonna give you sore hands and sore fingers so try to slide back by pushing yourself backward straighten your arm chest upright to get a little bit of a lung capacity just stretch your lungs and scrape which means scraping and lifting up and straighten your arms now if you notice the way I hold the hoods is not like this if you hold the hoods like this, you're going to have a lot of strain on the arm. So what you do, just open, put them like that. So there's no stress. Literally, you're just climbing with your hands for steering. Okay, number two, the next agenda when you're climbing, try to avoid upper body movement. We see it in a lot of our friends. They ride like this on the climb. It, it, it looks like it's a powerful climbing style but in reality it uses a lot of muscles from your lower back etc so the key in efficient uh, climbing especially for long distances is to try to stay as steady as possible rock solid try to minimize any movement from your upper body and just stay as stable as possible okay no rocking like this no rocking just stay as stable as possible okay now we're gonna go back to the downhill when you see the downhill just like so on the road up ahead so that's a slight downhill what you do now is from the hoods transition to the drops one at a time slide back slide back your butt bend your elbow use your pointer finger Use the pointer fingers to control the bike when you're braking. Elbow down to lower the center of gravity. Remember, just like what they taught us in college, high school physics, the lower the center of gravity, the more stable the bike. And then, when you're climbing again, go back to the hoods, slide back, straighten up, and then stay climbing like this. Don't do this. Okay, next. If you want to relax and you want to say stand climbing, this is how you, well, just some small tips. When you climb like this, Jad, are you standing up? Okay. So the trick is don't go too far forward. If you go too far forward, your triceps are going to start hurting and getting stressed out. What you do now is to slide back and you have to feel your inner thigh muscles touching the nose of the saddle 
So if you can see my thighs, my hips, they're almost touching the tip of the saddle. The idea is you want to balance the bike as much as possible, okay? Not too far forward like this or else your triceps are going to get strained. Straighten up like that. Just like so. So this is how you climb. Now, the next tip of the day, when your left foot is pushing down, your left hand is pulling up. Push down, lift up. Push down, lift up. Push down, lift up. So while the left foot is pushing down, the left hand is lifting up the brake hoods. That will engage your core, okay? So when the right leg is pushing down, the right hand is pulling up. When the left leg is pushing down, if you want to accelerate, all you gotta do is just increase the lifting up and pushing down of the legs, just like this. Thank you very much for watching our short clip about climbing and descending. We all know that these skills are often very unnatural to most newbies and weekend enthusiasts. Very often we get intimidated when we see that next uphill in front of us. So practice these quick tips and hopefully we get to see you this April when we tackle one of the most, I can consider one of the most scenic, most beautiful courses in the Philippines, right here in Bagak, Pataan, as La Jolla will be hosting this year's Bataan KOM for men, women, and an afternoon event for kids. The rolling terrain is very newbie friendly. The gradients of the climbs are not insanely steep. The descent are not overly exaggerated. But most of all, the view on the right side of this mountain highway is spectacular to say the least. And after the event, after the race, we all gather by the beach resort and enjoy an afternoon of barbecues and burgers and maybe share some war stories. So we'll see you this April. Please invite your friends, your relatives. They can enjoy the ocean while we'll go all out racing. Thank you very much. And uh, the course will start in La Jolla Beach Resort. This will be in Bagak. And go straight all the way to the coast and makes the first U-turn at the Kamaya Coast Station 2. So if you follow the arrow, you would see how the course would progress. And it's very apparent that the inclines are not that difficult. It's totally newbie friendly. Downhills are very safe. Open wide roads. Make sure that you set your speedometer at the 31st kilometer point. That would be the U-turn. And then go back to the La Jolla Beach Resort. We'll see you on the start line.